relentless. You know what to do. What did I tell you? Not to open your drawer. Why'd you open it? I wanted to see her. And who did you want to see? Mom. She wasn't yours. Tim and I have never really gotten along. Meet your new brother. He's a little old, isn't he? Well, yes, but your father and I instantly fell in love with Freddy. I know you're expecting a baby. They brought me home that day from the first time he saw me. I wasn't good enough. She was more than I could have asked for. Her death affected all of us, but becoming an orphan had warmed me up to the idea to the point where I wasn't too surprised. But Tim was devastated. I hadn't had much time to get to know her, but he had. Ah! He had his whole life. Tim's dad started to drink heavily. Shortly after the funeral, Tim locks himself in his room to try to avoid the storm that he knew would come. But that didn't stop his dad from taking out all his bottled anger about his dead-end job, the death of his wife, and his inadequate son on Tim. And because nature isn't too fond of a vacuum and the ecosystem needed some balancing out, Tim decided to take all of his anger with his father out on me. Repeat. Eat your food, Tim. I'm not hungry. Don't make me ask again. I'm going to my boss's barbecue on Saturday. I don't want to go. Eat your damn food! you, Tim. The more you talk, the worse it'll get for you. Where the hell you been? Where have you been? Freddy, where have you been? Come here. Open the door. Where? Open. Freddy! Freddy! I'm 
Hey, Georgie. Glad you could make it. Thanks for having me. Ha, ha, ha.